Ever had that situation where you say, gosh darn, I wish we had a recording of what we said on that last conference call? Be nice to send to the people uh, who are in those uh, other countries on different time zones. Well, maybe next time. Well, let me show you a next time. Hi, my name is Doug. Let me go through this very uh, briefly so you get an idea, and I'm sure you can uh, set it up in just a few minutes as I did. Uh, the first step is to take advantage of a free download from uh, Audacity here. Uh, go to Audacity, uh, do your Google search. Find uh, this uh, particular website here and follow the instructions for downloading uh, the necessary version for Windows or your Mac. Uh, if this is the first time you're setting it up and you intend to record something and then later send it with an email or upload it or uh, pass it along to somebody, say as an MP3 file, you are also going to have to have what they call the LAME, L -A -M -E, MP3 encoder. And this is some free uh, software that you can download as well, though they would appreciate a uh, donation. Let me give you a quick demonstration and get off and uh, uh, make that phone call. I've already set up uh, on my using my Google Voice and calling over my computer. I'll call myself here on the phone. What I'm doing now is I'm cleaning up from the last time I did a test here. I'm getting ready to start recording the phone call. So now I'm recording it on Audacity. And you can see the uh, sound waves appearing. The phone's ringing. My voicemail will kick in for a moment. Hi there. This is Doug Caldwell. Actually, my voicemail. You know what to do? I'll call you back shortly. Okay. So you heard my voicemail. It could be the conversation with people on your conference call or the other individual that you're speaking to, and the sound waves that you see are myself uh, speaking as I'm making this recording. Let's go ahead and uh, stop the recording right now. And uh, now we'd like to uh, save that recording, or actually uh, export it. Go down here under uh, File, go to uh, Export, click on that. Go to uh, Desktop, I'll just simply give it a label here. Test of uh, Google Voice Recording. I'll click the uh, Save button. Uh, I'm not going to add any particular uh, values here in the uh, meta metadata. So I'll click on that, and it will be uh, mixed down to a single mono channel, which is fine for my purpose. Click on that, and whoop, because it was a short conversation, let's take a look at what's on my desktop right now. And there's an MP3 file. So let's see what the uh, sounds like. Start recording the phone call. So, you've seen that part here, so what do we want to do next? Well, let's go ahead and uh, see if we can't send this off as an email here, because uh, somebody wanted a copy of that. So, in the case of using uh, Gmail here, I'll see if I can't uh, compose the email uh, by uh, simply dragging and dropping one of those nice uh, features here that you can do with uh, Gmail. Let's see if I can drop it in. Yeah, there it goes. And I just dropped that uh, MP3 recording of the conversation right in as an attachment. And I'll send it to myself. So we'll do uh, test recording. And I'll hit the uh, email button. And voila. The uh, recording we just made is right here. I could either play it or download. Interest of time, I'm sure you can figure out the rest. But I think it's a pretty neat way. Hey, disclaimer, make sure before, during, and after that if you're recording, everybody that's a party to the conversation because of various state and federal laws very clearly understand that this is going to be a recorded communication. You can get in a lot of big trouble if you don't tell the other party or parties. So be honest. If you're using it for bad reasons, well, you're going to do it anyway. For all you good people out there, like that conference call, uh, go ahead and uh, tell them before, during, and after. Hey, thanks for watching. Bye for now.